Alright, welcome back to another fantastic episode of the XCOM 2 War of the Shows and No Short Run. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue this beast of a campaign. It is time to fight against an invasion. An invasion uh, since we have been shot down and I am going to do something either incredibly stupid or incredibly funny we got our icarus suit uh, right here so let's uh, take a good look if this here is uh, going to work out uh, can we jump all the way back to here once being a uh, no we cannot all right fair enough we should take a concealment and I'm on the move. Roby's on the move. Hostile forces spotted. You can already see that the hostile forces are on the way. Could move all the way up to here. Unless someone is positioning themselves here, we will not be spotted out. So that's not Closing the worst uh, place. Now. Roby's sort of one manning this whole thing by running there and trying to get it down. What's the rest of the team doing? Great question. Let's take a good look. Uh, we do have. Do we have a mimic beacon? Yes, we do. And hmm, we really want to charge in. Probably not right away. I'm going to do that next turn. So for now, I think that this here should not trigger. I was utmostly wrong. Of course, it does trigger. We're, uh, we will need to deal with uh, the Overwatch. Okay. Let's try to do that. Don't want to fully charge in. Mainly because I don't want to trigger yet another pack. Good, we're going to charge. And are at least dealing some damage. We got another Mimic Beacon here, which is fantastic. And we got a solution for that Shield Bearer here. Great. Good. First pack. We're engaging in typical psych and fashion. All right, moving up into full cover. Just to double check, like that. What would the chance of shutting this guy down look like? That's not a bad chance. I actually like the odds here. Activate haywire. The other alternative is a combat protocol. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That is a hundred percent kill. So we're going to do that. Rift with his nice mustache. Helps out, kills the guy. And that is done. We know that there is another pack here, so of course we don't want to go in too far. Let's just double check something real quick. Okay. 
Hilariously enough, like this year would trigger another pack. This year would not. So it's exactly one of these situations where you want to make sure that the game does not screw you over. Oh, this year is not going to trigger. Carrying and this here is also not triggering. Good. Three blade stones should be plentiful to get this guy down. Now we're tr uh, triggering, but it's on their turn, so we're essentially we're essentially not uh, getting retaliated. Holy shit! Okay, well. It is quite official. We have triggered the entire ma map. Sit. Okay, cool. Well, we got uh, Toxic here who just moves in in order to hunker down. Can't use him. Not for anything meaningful. So we could Haywire Protocol and get the Mac. Fifty-fifty on taking it over. It's not a. That's not a bad chance overall, I would say. In terms of Haywire Proto, uh, on in terms of A Protocol. Let's put that over here. Make a new and we got a little bit better than 50% chance to actually deal with this guy here. Oh, of course. Always when it counts, we're failing the important hacks. Not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to get that guy. Good, so who is our backup Mimic Beacon is probably the question. Halo here could be the uh, Mimic Beacon replacement and that means we're taking quick feet for the actual kills. And that again means Putting Sane into a full cover position. Well, you know what? We can use his Mimic Beacon. I, I was hoping that we could uh, kill off uh, the mech with uh, Haywire Protocol, but we can't. Okay, now back to the original thought process. Got to deal with this guy here. Out of curiosity, capacitate the discharge. That's a two for one. I think that that wouldn't be the worst option. Of course, like hitting all three here would have been a tiny bit better. But hindsight is 2020. Should have probably moved. I was so focused on haywiring this guy. So this here could be an option. Of course, uh, hitting it right here would be much better. The reason why I'm trying to do all of that is having a bit of uh, reaper action would go a long way. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we're going to use uh, Roby. Not sure yet, though. Okay, it's a little bit more tricky than I thought originally. So... This here would definitely be a nice hit. But we would potentially get shot and I want to make sure that that does not happen. So... How can we deal damage to this guy? I think the only way to really deal with his overwatch is the thrown axe. They've seen me. That reveals us. Sucks, but it is what it is. Good, we're charging in. This here should soften them up a bit. Fantastic. Um, let's parry. Yes. Going to shift one over. We're furthermore going to start with Reaper. That is a hit, potentially triggering another um, pack. Nope, not the case. All right, so if we were to hit this guy. That'll set him up, but not kill him, which is unfortunate. But I know exactly how we can fix it. Uh, let's do one thing at a time, though. Fantastic. Roby continues to just kill the guys. I got it, right? There we go. Oh, I definitely got that one. Still very much reapering. It starts becoming interesting. Not so worried about the two specters. But we got plenty... Plenty of uh, high hit po point targets here. Good, so if we were to take that one over... That could act as another distraction. Fantastic. Good. We still got our Mimic Peak in here. I think we would want to move to here so that we can deploy the Mimic Beacon um, pretty soon. Moving over to here.
Good, we're continuing to hit, try to hit as many of them as possible. Uh, the high armor sort of tells me that we would want to hit this guy with a katana. And it really does matter that we're in the open here. That's fine. They will come a bit closer to us. No, we're not hunkering down. Let's place the Mimic Beacon right there. That'll force most of them to just take melee attacks. Hence, they will move up and we're just going to smash them. That's the first hit. lasted much shorter than I was hoping it would last. We can deal with that. No problem. Shadowbound uh, will not be an issue. We are standing in the open though, so that's a bit of an issue. The Andromedon will die uh, for sure. I'm a bit concerned about potential uh, blazing pinions or extra hits. Good. Andromedon is down, which brings us to the last two Archons. Quite a few hit points uh, on, on the field here. Enemy destroyed. Like, just overall. I see them trying to break. Good. Not very surprising that we're seeing Blazing Pinions here. Good. In terms of dealing with all that bullshit. Revival Protocol. Yes, please. Thank you. Capacitator discharge. So that would be two hits, but also four friendly hit, uh, targets. These here would be two hits, zero friendly targets. Kind of set, uh, sets it up nicely for uh, a Reaper attack. So might as well do that. Good. Um, our newly found friend moves up, destroys a lot of cover, and at the end of the day, uh, misses the specter. Great opportunity if we were uh, to just take a shot. Unfortunately, we're not doing that. Could, who could actually throw another Mimic Beacon? I mean, potentially Roby could. Potentially Roby could. Um, I 
which means if we're softening up the specter here fantastic that'll allow us to create reaper with quick feet we're going uh, to kill the specter that's one down Archon 2 down. Taken care of. Hmm. How are we going to deal with this guy down here? Potentially next turn. Although, let's do it this turn. He's stunned for two rounds, which may or may not disrupt the Shadow Bound. Answer is it does not. Okay, cool. Good, let's do a little bit of a trickery here. Obi just needs to get a bit away from all of the explosions without wasting some uh, valuable actions for that. We're going to hand over 18 work over there. Roby is still going to be our backup for the Mimic Beacon. And let's continue to harass that Elite Spectre here. Just about enough to kill him. That's a nice little two for one. would be able to deal with this guy here. I mean, technically, yes. Practically speaking, I don't know what he would do, so let's just move here. That's just a protection to have um, a little bit less damage incoming. All right, moving back over. Car could explode, Hawkbite wouldn't care. That should trigger two blade storms. It should theoretically trigger two blade storms. Yeah. There we go. It's not bad. Ooh, okay. Fantastic. That's probably the last pack. We don't have parry. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. But even more enemies are going to appear. So was this going to be a fun a fun little round? Who's on mimic beacon duty? Good. We're moving up. No 
Moving on target location. Got another Haywire protocol here, but also another capacitator discharge. Is there a chance to hit only these two clowns? Yep. Once Hogblight is out of the way, the answer is yes. Good. Moving up. And oh, let's do the capacitator discharge uh, thing. Not sure where the Archon is gone. Uh, to, he, he was just there. Apparently just disappeared. Hmm, okay, well, whatever. Got another Mimic Beacon back here, which we potentially are going to use, so I would put Rift here on Mimic Beacon duty. In the meantime, let's take a good look at what we're going to do. I think it is just too promising to uh, to actually hit that eyeball. Going to place ourselves up here. The Andromedon shell really doesn't matter at this point. Roby charges in. We're, going to hit, we're hitting him pretty well. I don't think that uh, the gatekeeper will die in one go. Probably not. Could get it further uh, down, but I actually like where we are at this point. Good, so we could go for these guys here. There might be yet another pack. I really don't want to trigger another pack. Good. We're placing the Mimic Beacon right there. Potentially will take some damage from the exploding car. Ah, that was not so clever. But it will be enough to, uh, to deal with the gatekeeper. Not sure if those two will be happy. They might just teleport in, but that's okay. If one of them teleports in, that's fine. Alright, moving all the way over there. That way we can make sure the reinforcements are being taken care of. Yeah, we really don't need any common protocol. Not, not yet. Ending the turn.
Okay, the only thing they need to do is hit with their attack and then the stun lance at least will be down. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. Unfortunately, the stun lance are landed in a pretty comfortable position. Okay, so the beacon worked just like we hoped it would. Let's start with the more obvious topics. We're going to use our uh, specialists first. Still got plenty of combat protocol left over. Nice start to just get rid of the big fat eyeball. Good, the Andromedon shell should hopefully take uh, the the overworld shot fantastic he just took two blade storms just to do uh, just for doing an overworld shot absolutely hilarious and then got punched in uh, in the stomach Good. we're continuing to kill the remainder here cool fantastic Yeah, we're going to see a couple of clones. That's to be expected, unfortunately. Uh, did I just acid burn myself? Okay, well, that, that was sloppy. We can still heal it, but nonetheless, that was sloppy, so I can... We're triggering the last pack in good old Psyche fashion. Go patch him up. Gremlin healing. In the meantime, we still got the Mimic Peak in here, so we might want to use that one. Over here, shall we just abandon all of the other things? Probably not. Hmm. 
How well, should we deal with that? Yeah, we're just going to do the easiest, uh, the easiest approach, which is reducing the number of code uh, codices. There is still one codex, and that is okay. Moving to designated coordinates. Good. This here hopefully will motivate them to charge in. And we really don't need capacitate the discharger yet. I would not kill it. Okay. Shadow bound on the mimic beacon. No. Tries to shoot it, but misses. Lancers are going to lance. We already knew that. Even if that means that they are going to take 12 points of damage. Oh my god, they are so terribly bad. Unbelievable. Getting some more reinforcements. Commander, we can't let the alien troops get access to the Avengers systems. If they have the original command codes, they could initiate a full shutdown of the power. Cord. Yeah, we got to deal with this. Uh, no way we're getting off the ground before they overrun. Us. With this guy here. Menace one five, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. All right, combat protocol deals only six points of damage. Where is the capacitator discharger when you need it? Right here. Before we do anything though, I'll send over a quick aid protocol. And this here should deal um, with the Codex. The clone should not be in the center here. Oh, the clone goes nowhere because it is distracted. Fantastic. Advanced teamwork. Good. Even better. Divad. Charges in. Kills. And implacable to rush over to the next spawn location. Uh, Roby does not have Reaper ready yet. That here should deal with most of them. Big fat iconic storm, uh, ionic storm. So much for immediately regaining two thirds of the powers that you spent. The Elite Spectre soon will die. In the meantime, Reaper, and you'll see in a second, it might look uh, like a little bit extravagant to go for a Reaper when it's only one guy. But 
we do have Implaceable and Untouchable. So Implaceable will give us an additional movement action. No, we don't have that yet. Holy moly. Copy that. Good. Moving to the new spawn location. And by moving over there, I'm also location. hoping that we're pretty soon going to wrap this up. Hence, we're moving everybody a little bit further back. And kill these guys and get out of here. More stressful than I would have thought. I was actually under the impression... We can just walk through it. But it was not that easy. I've got eyes on an advent position. X-rays got me flight. Menace one five, be advised, we picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. All right, Roby. Takes care of business right here. Fantastic. Hogbite moves all the way to here. And then begins to summon a ghost. Not the most powerful ghost, but still should be good enough. Hogbite is unfortunately out of focus now. Ghost, however, can be positioned right on the spawn. So we're fully moving in. All right, we're. I just had two advanced teamworks. Where are those gone? Oh, okay, I see how it is. They are going to here. The standard bar is not big enough for all of uh, the abilities. Well, thank you, dear game, for messing that one up. That's a bit of a bummer because I wanted to shift over more abilities. And it kind of would have been important. Moving up, hopefully killing this guy. All right, fantastic. At least that worked. Good. We're charging in not yet enough damage. Which is unfortunate. We can still continue to support with more Comet Protocol. Won't kill him, unfortunately, but at least we're set up for success next round. He will only mind control. So, I think we're going to be fine. Good. That's going to be at least one hit. Nice 
Nice one. And we miss. That is unfortunate. It's still moving. Incoming fire. But it was not a mind control because he Commander, was burning. I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Menace one five, be advised, we picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Good. We got untouchable here. If he kills him, no, stays, of course. Not much of a hit. Oh, Ed Galleon Poe, fantastic. Just the guy I was looking for. Casually walks in, deals 14 points of damage and completely obliterates the enemy. In the meantime, everybody else just charges and moves away. Quick feed moves. We're finishing the actual objective and can now hopefully jump back with the Icarus suit. Excellent work, Menace One Five. Shen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. All right, that's so much more difficult to do uh, to do it with melee attacks compared uh, to ranged attacks. Closing on target position now. Hey, why does it go? But let's try to take this guy over. Alright, that did not really work. And whenever something does not really work, it's a completely okay measure to just try it again. Would have taken it over before even dealing damage, of course, but at that point, um, it really doesn't make too much difference. I'm just trying to really make sure that it cannot uh, react. Let's get it. You know what? Let's just shut it down. Good, fantastic. Moving up so that we can take care of these guys. Moving up here. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go. What a coincidence that you guys are landing right next to us. I have visual. Yeah, we're hitting a couple of um, shots here. That's pretty good. We're just softening them up, to be honest. In the meantime, the team deals with the remainder of all of the guys that just landed. Good, so that would be a go. We could go. Yeah, we probably could move out here in one go. Evert unfortunately could not. Affirmative. 
Hopbite could move out in one go. It's really a shame that we can't hand over an ability to Diva. Oh, I know how we might solve that problem. Let's see. Can we really move everybody out? Can we really move everybody out? I think the answer is yes. Let's just take the overwatch shot. Good. So far, so good. The Templar deal, uh, can deal uh, with all of them almost by himself. Charging down here. On your order. Let's inspire. Go, go, go. And we are going to no leave retreat. no one behind, of course. Fantastic. Diva charges. And where is Roby? Roby takes the Icarus suit. I was hoping that we would be able to use the Icarus suit to get there. That unfortunately was not possible. Uh, elsewise, I would have just. Commander, not all of our people are back on board yet. What? Everybody is uh, up here. Are uh, we talking about... Okay, yeah, uh, we're just talking about the ghost. Double checking. Yes, 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 yes. It's just a ghost, right? Right. Good. As I was saying, um, if it would have worked elsewise, I would have just used uh, the Icarus suit. Roby would have uh, teleported in. We would have just killed, um, so attacked the target, then um, attacked it again by shifting over um, abilities with advanced teamwork. Uh, it would have uh, died, then we would have shifted a second ability over, we would have Icarus jumped, uh, suited uh, back, and the entire mission would have just taken like 40 or 50 seconds. Unfortunately, didn't have line of sight, but it was a good plan. Put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. They there we go, fantastic. A lot of uh, people, yeah, and that's exactly what I was looking for. Couple more negative traits, you know, because we did not really get rid of them beforehand. And unfortunately, on some of the prime candidates, uh, all right, well, I should potentially be Ready grateful because that now the UFO track. is gone and we're not going to be shut down right again. Good. We got enough trained soldiers. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, boy, oh boy. Well, aliens work on the Avatar project. We should hit that was foreseeable. As soon as Let's possible. take a look. Did we already get someone back? No. Definitely want to re, uh, remove the negative traits because I don't want to go into the last uh, mission with negative traits. Uh, hidden event. Hack the workstation. What well, looks like a doable mission. And we got 
uh, lost swarm on every single mission and protect the device. Nah, that's not going to happen. No, no, we're going to do uh, do right about that. And that's not even the hunter in here, so we should be fine. Let's take a short look at our armory. That's the newly trained ranger. Good. So, in terms of negative traits, yeah, fear of Max here. Fear of the Chosen, both of which I need to remove before we can go. So yeah, those two definitely I'm gonna have to go ahead and need to go. With the decision to recover it from the field. We had a prime opportunity to send the biggest Come on, bomb show we me. Have right okay, through. no negative but effects instead, here. We're taking the wait and see approach. Few of mutants. Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. The other two are bad though. Although if we kill all of the chosen, the fear of the chosen no longer matters. Okay, anyways, this uh, kind of brings us to the end of uh, this mission. The next one is going to be another Guerrilla Ops mission. We got shut down, guys, and it's almost the end of uh, the month. Uh, so this was a pretty hard-fought month, but I think we're still prevailing. All in all, a uh, pretty decent uh, recovery. One thing that I am not sure about is what we're going to do next month. I still want to continue the training, to be honest. And maybe we're even going through another shutdown uh, mission with the Chosen. Not 100% sure. I really want to make sure that we're killing him and are not risking losing any soldiers. And the melee immunity, as, as shown, has uh, proved to be quite uh, annoying, shall I say. Good. Brings us to the end of today, as I was saying. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. Uh, and I noticed, by the way, that most of the top uh, commenters have not even subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy the uh, entertainment, feel free to just click that subscribe button. Thanks and take care. Bye-bye.